Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Again, we want to thank our patrons for their support over on Patreon, where you get unique videos over there that uh, typically will come out every two, three days, and they won't be put up anywhere else. So it's it's exclusive, and it's kind of clearly spoken. You know, I just wanted to go over, um, well, some things that we got from meditation and from the guides and and just reiterate a few things very very um clearly because you know these times are going to be very very contentious uh they are going to be very very challenging they're going to challenge our humanity so to speak what do you do in a inhumane world when you're faced with just outright aggression as as you see right here when we ourselves become under attack or we perceive that we're being a, un, you know under attack or being attacked uh it definitely can provoke emotional responses that can then go and spiral out and just cause bigger and bigger and bigger uh, problems and issues Oh, you know, as it should. I mean, when we feel threatened, when we feel we are in danger and we're really taking that thing to heart, these, you know, we should act on those emotions in some way, shape or form because these emotions are trying to tell us something. They're like, they're our guard, you know, there are, we use them as little bumpers. So if we feel something, you know, we do what we can to move ourselves into alignment and maybe there's times when things are going on and emotionally you're like, eh, I'm going to be fine. And, and sometimes that's the case too. So, but either way, it's important to listen to them, <laughs> interact with them, talk with them, because a lot of times these emotions are, are guided. Uh, yes. Well, listen to your intuition, develop your intuition. Absolutely. And again, try to get yourself out of the way of, of problems and let the anger and the energy dissipate. And here you see, the, this is from Jim Ferguson. He says, aggressive invading migrants, attacking people in cars in Italy, uh, mass illegal migration is a weapon. Oh, absolutely. And so, you know, that, that is for sure. And what I want to point out is, this is just what's been going on for several thousand years. There's nothing new here. It might seem like there's something new, but there's really nothing new. It's <clears throat> just a, a case of escalation and getting to a certain point of ending one way of the system being and just shifting into a new uh, apparent order that's really not a new order at all. It's not, you know, and, and you see that one person throw in rocks. There's been much worse, much worse done. Uh, Denver, Colorado, which is a proud sanctuary city, is now begging Texas not to send migrants to their city, urging border towns to hand out flyers to migrants, encouraging them to stay away. Keep sending them. This is Colin Roog saying it. It's better. It gets better officials are discouraging these migrants by telling them that denver is very expensive and there aren't many affordable housing options available denver officials are also telling migrants that shelters only have a 14-day stay limit and that their resources have been exhausted as you see this th this is really it's so sad what's happening from all concerned and this is part of what, you know, somebody uh, had taken issue with, like saying, you know, how, how can you sympathize with the, <clears throat> the migrants? You have to really understand where they're coming from. And yeah, even the boatloads that are full of, <clears throat> you know, plain and simple soldiers, soldiers, the, 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 you know, maybe no different than the conquistadors in some ways, uh, you know, coming for a better life. You know, there was that comment too, of course. Yeah, the, the, you know, migrants, immigration, it's always people thinking the grass is greener. That's basically what it boils down to, although sometimes they are forced from their area because of warfare, because of, uh, you know, tribal tribalism. You know, again, look what happened uh, in Uganda 
in in the 90s, it was horrible. 800,000 to a million people lost their lives in an extremely short period of time simply because they belong to a particular uh, quote-unquote tribe. What we have to recognize is this bigger picture. This is perhaps one of, it's certainly one, it's one of the top tools of the power structure. As you see, these migrants are on their way to Europe from North Africa. Uh, you know, again, uh, Allah Akbar, you know, this, this system that we find ourselves in the middle of, religions are created for the simple purpose of, of utilizing the people in, in a way that you can completely count on them taking part in something uh, aggressive. Really, this is what they do. They, they divide us through religion. And still... This is one of the hardest uh, programmings to, to shed ourselves from, that, that indoctrination that we get as a kid. Because again, you know, these, these kids are brought up and, and you're told we have the true way. You know, our God is, is, is the only right God. Everybody else's God is just a demon. And you know, we, we are the blessed people, the chosen one. There could be no more bigoted statement than, than thinking that there is a chosen people. And, and that should be just so obvious, so obvious. But yet it somehow escapes the minds of so many. But when you look at what humanity is, uh, ha has set upon itself is, is just you know one one tragedy, one travesty, uh, one thing to rise above after another as we're always, always being hit with these different things. Now it's come to an escalation where there's, you know, floods uh, and wildfires and everything that seems to be um, nature oriented uh, hitting us. Is it, is it because of uh, the pole shift? Is it because of the big giant planets lining up? Is it, you know, a cyclical disaster that's coming about uh, due to natural events? And really what you're seeing in, in our humble opinion is almost completely orchestrated at this point. Yeah, there's natural stuff coming, but we could get out of the way of that. Uh, you know, it, it's it's not what it looks to be. Yeah, you know, again... The system takes advantage of everything and anything it can do to utilize it. You know things that are natural; they amplify them. You know things that are natural that wouldn't impact anybody. Say it's a hurricane; it's going off, you know, out to sea. Well, you know, then they'll draw it into a particular area, like they did with Harvey. All of a sudden, you see something getting shot from Mexico. Harvey takes a hard left. And causes all sorts of chaos and destruction. You know, how does Hurricane Michael go from tropical storm to category, they said four, but then they acknowledged it actually did hit category five. How did that happen so quickly? It's just simple weather warfare. And it's even been acknowledged that the weather warfare exists. And, and interestingly enough, both China and the U.S. said they will control the weather. Uh, and, and and they gave us a date, 2025. So, you know, it's already underway. This is all so obvious. What we have to do is rise above the division. As long as we're thinking it's because of this person's uh, religion, it's because of this person's skin color, this person's gender, whatever it is, all those things are just little things that they love to utilize uh, to divide us, we have to recognize again that we have more in common than we do uh, that sets us apart. And we're all part of something bigger. So as long as we act like a virus, like the control system truly is a virus, or if we act like a raging cancer, then there's never going to be any peace. There's never going to be any true healing. It is. It is really unfortunate how easily the masses are controlled using this tactic, using this tactic of indoctrination. When you send children to school or when people go to school, 
to learn something and they study hours and hours and days and days and weeks and months and they write this big you know dissertation or, or whatever and they feel like that information is theirs they own it they're here to protect it and you know if anyone says anything differently well i've i've learned all of this stuff this is my information and i'm right and you're wrong when we should be spending time in meditation connecting to higher self and allowing our dna to remain neutral because we are very programmable beings they can they know that they can program us they take advantage of that. They take advantage of that from one generation to the next. And until we understand that we are sovereign beings and we have the ability to create our own path, it's like people are, <clears throat> it's like they, they treat people like a, a wind up toy. You know, those toys, you just wind it up and you set it down and it's going to go a certain way and it's going to do a certain thing and they can count on it time after time after time. And I, I don't want to be used as a wind-up toy. <laughs> I just, you know, I step back and as many people, people who I can help find their sovereignty, I think that's better off for everyone in a big way. So here we see uh, uh, San Bonifacio, Verona residents taking to the streets to complain at a major crime epidemic which is being done mostly by the migrants. And, you know, obviously, you know, this is not a good situation, uh, but it, it's, it's only beginning because, again, they're using them uh, as uh, expeditionary forces, so to, so to speak, in the bigger war to come. The only way uh, we can stop what's coming is really through the realization in mass and showing love and compassion uh, to those that have basically gone through hell themselves in their life. And yeah, you know, this person is very, very mad. Chicago residents seem to be enjoying how uh, the left has allowed their city to be flooded with migrants and listen in. Right now, Brandon Johnson and the Democrats are criminals. They're locking up guys and smoking and drugs and, and tra trafficking people who are seeing these guys go and do this. People are worked up, you know. In fact, we were watching in uh, in Australia. They were uh, there was a gentleman that was really telling it like it is to uh, some of the politicians and and calling them, you know, what what they are, which which is, uh, you know, again. <laughs> M U R M M U R. You can figure out the rest. This is what's been going on the planet. This is what the system does. What we have to realize is again we're always being played against each other, against each other. So as long as we keep getting mad at each other instead of uh, understanding that even people like you know maybe this gentleman who's acting as security. Uh, for a hotel in New York City, which is housing a lot of migrants, and there's a government agency that is uh, in charge of overseeing this. Again, Cindy has seen uh, that there are U.S. soldiers working with Russian and Chinese soldiers. This is a big reveal. Again, the uh, we don't spend all that money on on <laughs> on weapons of war in the U.S. Ten times what Russia spends. To protect the citizens of the United States, no. And anybody that thinks that, you know, they they've been drinking the Kool Aid. This is all about putting down the people of the world, and and it's a big realization. And we understand again, if we took a side, yeah, then our channels would would grow leaps and bounds. But that's not our purpose. Our purpose is to show it like it is, and whoever is is willing to wake up and does wake up, then great. And, and those that still want to stay sound asleep in one way because they can't face some of their programming, that's okay too. It's just, you're just not going to wake up in this life. It, it's, it's, again, just one life amongst many. When, when you look at the list of armed conflicts involving the U.S., and we could go all the way back you know, to Ponce de Leon before the U.S. was the U.S., you know, it, it's, it's all about conquest, whether it's the conquistadors, uh, the French, the English, 
uh, you know, claiming things to be New Spain. Well, what about all the people living there? This is part of what we've been, you know, trying to get across. You know, they they even try to say that uh, bio warfare wasn't used on the indigenous people of the Americas, but it certainly was. You know, everybody knew of the smallpox blankets that were given out, and that's just one instance, just one instance. And, and then it gets fact-checked and denied, yeah, by, again, the system itself. There have been so many wars. It just is nonstop. This is conquest that has never ended. This is exactly what a Kali Yuga looks like. In, in case you feel like all of a sudden you're waking up in hell, this is just what it is in a dark age. We, we, we've been in a dark age our whole lives. We almost don't have any concept of anything but a dark age we we might hear of a golden age and of a silver age in which people are of much higher frequency and vibration and they understand the unity of all things but the reality is it's been nothing but warfare and again this is where if if you look to matthew 24 uh, and, and you're thinking wars are rumors of wars it must be now wars and rumors of wars there's never been peace of course you know, that fits every time period, every single time period. That's why it feels like, oh, we're in it now. Yeah, we've been in it now. We were, our grandparents were in it. Our great grandparents were in it. Our great, 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 great. It goes on and on and on. These wars never stop. This is all we have. As long as we don't wake up and, and understand all people are being manipulated by the system. As long as you think we are the chosen people or we are the only ones that have the right religion, you're, you're just as much a tool for the dark side as, as any other. Do you know about the opium wars? I mean, do you, do you understand what, what happened there and what was done to China back in those days? You know, it just goes on and on. We have to really look into our history because they can't wipe it all away, but they do cover it up as much as they possibly can. The atrocities are nonstop. To, to, to say that you're patriotic just says that I really don't know anything. And, and that's harsh, but that's the reality. Because are you patriotic about exterminating people? It, it, what could we possibly be patriotic about? And when you look in the modern days, ever since 9-11, they estimate 5 million people died because of the wars that came after just 9-11. This is nonstop. It, it really shows a lack of understanding, as Cindy is always quoting uh, a statement attributed to Yeshua that sounds uh, accurate. My people die from lack of understanding. Yes, y Yeshua would would definitely not condone what's going on now and you see the occupation of nicaragua 1912 to 1933 part of the banana wars well nicaragua is now aligned with russia and china and by the way there's probably a lot of nicaraguans that are going to take part in the invasion of the u.s there they there are so many people that think of the U.S. truly as the great Satan. It's not just the Iranians. And again, we got to look past this. You, know, you have the Korean War, all these different operations. How about Laos, the Laotian Civil War, the Lebanon crisis back in the 50s, the Bay of Pigs invasion. Oh, that was a false flag wake up there. You know, it's always been going on. Always. Dominican Civil Civil War. There's a lot of people from the Dominican Republic here now, too. So, you know, again, they might have heard their parents talking about, oh, do you know what happened then? How about South Zaire? You, you wonder, where are all these people coming from? They're coming from places that have, you know, for the most part, uh, been abused by the United States and NATO. And yet the United States and NATO are just tools. We're all just tools. So until we recognize that all people of the world have been played for fools, you're never going to get anywhere. And so, you know, this is in response to one person's uh, comment. But, but others, I know, you know, echo that sediment. 
where you think it's just one particular group of people, intervention in Haiti, Kosovo. I mean, it, it goes on and on. You know, again, Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, they've been bombed to hell. There's depleted uranium all over. Our history, you know, they'll tell us there's these myths, like we did this video, I guess about a year ago. Now, these are the, the ones that I find very fun, really, really fun, is digging up our history, like Queen Khalifa or Khalifia, the black Amazonian queen of the island of California. Now, when you look to the stories, and this is what, you, what we have to learn, discernment, uh, the earliest stories that talk about this, you know, going back to like 1535, uh, the fact that there was uh, what we would call black people in the United States already. They weren't all brought over in boats. You know, again, there's so much deception. Yes, some were. And slavery, again, Colossians 322, slaves obey your human masters just as you would obey those that are not human. Hello? There is, there is a lot to be said for buying into the mainstream religion just as much as people buy into the mainstream news, you know. But the problem is, is too many people are simply asleep and they're not listening to videos like this because it's almost like they have, well... You could call it a spell. It's like a spell cast over them and they're just simply asleep and they're asleep to certain things. And, you know, higher self has a lot to say about that. And let me just preface all of this and say higher self has a lot to say about what sinks into our consciousness and what doesn't. And if we want to have deeper understanding, well, we need to sit down and we need to ask for that deeper understanding and say, well, what am I missing? And this is part of a spiritual practice. This is part of expansion, allowing this information to come into your energy field and then having the discernment to know, well, what am I going to do with it? You know, so I have this, what do I do with it? And gaining on that knowledge and using that understanding to help guide you in your life, you know, just like just like the guides you know your emotions these are your guides and something that uh, we need to develop inside of ourselves to listen to but yeah I mean this is ongoing and we did a video yesterday and we really had a hard time getting it up we got blocked twice we ended up doing three takes and it was just a simple a newsreel and one part of the news was cast out there and it was from AI and it had one aspect of it and then another the same news article was from a military person and it had a completely separate aspect of it and it's like it just shows you how much the news is able and capable of steering people in a certain direction so how much of this do we listen to and take to heart how much of it do we you know deflect off of us and allow our souls to decide or higher self to decide what's going on here. I mean, we do find ourselves in a conundrum in a, in a place where we have our phones, our tablets, the com computers. I mean, we're getting all this information in constantly. It is very much an overload. It, it's definitely a technical overload for the consciousness. But don't think that they don't know that. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. So, you know, when you look to these old maps, it shows California as an island completely uniformly uh, until 1700. After 1700, which 1700, by the way, was the year that the great uh, Cascadian quake happened. Uh, or so they say again, you know, uh, the legends say that, uh, you know, Queen Califia or Khalifa ruled the island of California. And again, uh, she was not, uh, if we want to say she was not yellow skin, not red skin, not white skin, she was dark skinned. And, you know, what so, people that we would think are indigenous to Africa, but then again, you know, look at the people over in Fiji, look at the people. The, the big reveal is, again, when you look at the races, the races are giving you a big hint that humans came here from other planets that's the big hint 
because you know the reality is that's that is the reality we've come here as migrants as immigrants of the system from other places that have been destroyed by the system or have been war torn by the system and you have humans coming here and integrating and intermingling and intermarrying and having offspring uh and again when you look to the races the reason why you know uh, we have those different races is again they're coming from different places not of earth not of earth and and this is just understood and known in all the ages other than the dark age and and it's clearly stated in in many of the other uh, scriptures from around the world so do check that one out and this one did you know that the government outlawed native religious practices literally they they made it illegal uh for certain tribes to do certain practices to bring on rain and 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 things like that isn't that crazy but this is what the system does what the system does is it eradicates any sort of uh activities that are done in in the higher frequency ages where we understand how we can impact the planet and we can help to actually manifest things they don't want us doing that they want us going to them you know you have a question about your body you go see your dr you don't go sit and 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 go into meditation and listen to your body and and maybe you will actually figure out what's what's going on what's really going on when did this really happen well yeah, it started to come about when I had that big argument, that big breakup. Yeah, again, emotions. Emotions are the cause of so much of our diseases, not being able to process emotions. This is why they keep us so traumatized. They're trying to induce disease. This is why we have, you know, war, which literally eats away your soul. And so, you know, when you look at the way people will say, oh, those are pagans uh yeah they were more awake than what we have now they understood how the world operates they understood that it's an interactive world they understood again with the, sh the sh shamanistic point of view that there are other dimensions that we can't totally see and we might get glimpses of and you know again they give holidays to christopher columbus who was a murderer tyrant scoundrel and literally did uh, help to contribute to the genocide of hundreds of millions of people in the Americas. It's it's just insane. But again, you know, people get Nobel Peace Prizes. <laughs> you know, on years that they, they bomb and destroy uh, hundreds of thousands or millions of people. And they get the Nobel Peace Prize. This world is so upside down. We, we should see that. So this is a depiction of conquistadors meeting uh, Califia and some of her people. And yeah, it's, it's not what we're told. We weren't all brought on ships called Jesus, Liberty, Grace, Justice, and Mercy. Our ancestors were already natives of the land long before the Columbus lies. Oh, absolutely. 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 In fact, you know, I've done a lot of studies on different tribes and some uh, what you would call Native American tribes were definitely of this persuasion. What does that mean? Again, people came and settled here from other places, other places. And what we might think as mythological beings like a griffin, uh, there's there's absolutely a uh, reality in there and california again that's where the name comes from this is where the name comes from and you can see uh, the wikipedia she's the fictional queen of the island of california first introduced by the 16th century poet oh yeah again it they are always going to put the preeminence uh of of the european way because the european way is the ultimately the roman ultimately the sumerian ultimately an Anakian, draconian way and some have caught that the great seal of california is is turning queen califia into uh somebody that looks greek or roman this is exactly what what they do 
and here they say that her name really is coming from uh, the Arabic word Khalifia, which is a religious state leader. And there's stories of her uh, saying, yes, well, I'll go fight with you, you know, because uh, certain uh, Spaniards were trying to bring her and, and her people uh, over to fight in Africa against the Moors, against the uh, Islamic uh, invasion. Again, you know, Islam and Christianity, the reason why they exist as they do is just so that they will mutually destroy each other. That's the bottom line. It, you know, when you look to it, that is the bottom line. It's all about keeping us divided. Um, but we don't get that she would leave her place or her people. And so, you know, again, that, that feels like that's a retelling. So this is part of what you have to understand. If, if they give us the truth that there was a Queen Califia, but then they make her out to be something other uh, than what she really is. Well, that is exactly what the system is always doing. As you see the Great Seal of California and the, um, well, the Greek version, let's say. When you look to Genesis 11, it, it still tweaks a few people that follow the channel, uh, regardless of differences and, and not wanting to um, look at things in, in the light that, that they really are because they will say, well, this is God destroying that one world order like the few is trying to do now. And, and no, the answer is this is at the time period where the new world order came into be. This is where humanity uh, was, was being put under this dark system. So Jehovah said, Yahweh said, the Elohim, it's really in the plural. Behold, the people is one. They all have one language, and this is what they begin to do. They work together. They're working together. They're building. They're being creative. They're being constructive. You can't have that. So what, what do they do? Come, let us go down there. Let us scatter them everywhere. Let us break them up into tribes, pit them against each other, and they'll fight each other. We won't have to do a darn thing. Just a little bit of a instigation here, a little instigation there. And Jehovah scattered them all over the face of the whole earth. And then they stopped working together. You know, this tells you exactly who the, the control system really, really is. Again, it's, it's ultimately uh, very, very draconian. It is. And, you know, I mean, sticking with Mother Nature as much as possible, being able to blend in with the land. And I can tell you with that uh, Queen Califia's energy, and the goings-ons that went on what she considered to be her land, um, she wasn't going to have any of it. She was not going to have any of it. Now, I want you to listen to this name very carefully. Khalifia. Kali. These energies go hand in hand, and they do not mess around. And they're not going to sit there and play patty cake with a bunch of people who are going to come over and make threats with her. Oh, no, no, no. No, she's she's something different. That land is her land, and she has very much marked it. So <clears throat> the reason why we did this is because, again, something came through, and, and Cindy's a little hesitant, I think, to share it. Um, we don't want to put anything negative out there. Um, but at the same time, we want you to understand what is going on and what's been um, part of everything that we see going on. As you see this mother taking care of her little ones and how eager they are uh, to be fed. Absolutely, you know, m mom, mother, th there's always the urge to nurture, to take care of, to watch grow up, to love. You know, th these are natural things, absolutely natural things. And, and this system is so unnatural. It wants to supplant mother's love with sterility, <laughs> with incubators, with test tubes. You know, this is not the natural order. Everything about this system is completely, so obviously unnatural that it almost hits me as uh, just insane that anybody could still be going along with this. I, I don't know how we couldn't understand these things and not get the bigger picture. I really don't. But 
Anyway, um, we've talked about and I've talked about going back since 2017 with the first videos I've done uh, that the time is coming when uh, the U.S. is is going to meet um, karma and 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 many NATO nations. And again, even though we didn't decide ourselves to do these things, they the controllers understand. They, you know, they they get a nation to uh, commit atrocities against another nation. It's going to be karma back, you know, coming back, and. What's happened with Khalifia and, and her people and, and the wiping out of that system, the wiping out of all the indigenous people in both Americas. And, and again, the system does uh, such a good job at it because this is not its first go, not even here on Earth. This is, again, a system uh, that really comes from Mars and then before that, uh, Nibiru, but even before Nibiru, again, it's coming from other planetary systems. But Cindy woke up with um, words, uh, maybe from Califia. It feels like it's coming from Califia. And then again, as she was alluding to, there is a very strong Kali energy there. And in the Hindu tradition, uh, the only time they called on on Kali, Kali came out of uh, Durga. Durga is is all the mothers. Uh, it's all the goddess energies coming together and joining together. And there was uh, these two demons uh, that were wrecking havoc uh, to diabolical dark energies uh, that had gotten boons. Boons are um, kind of like blessings that they've gotten out of some of the the higher beings through uh, trickery and deceit sort of uh, you know again very interesting stories and 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 most will just take them as allegories about again you know feeding the dark nature feeding the light nature which we can't take them all that way but it was it was said that once kali uh, emerged from durga uh, nothing would stop uh, that energy from wiping out anything that was going after her her children, so to speak. And so, you know, Kali could only be placated um, by Shiva lying down in front of her path to that she realized um, that she had to stop. And again, Shiva literally means that which is not. And in so many ways, Shiva really is the consciousness that is not manifested. Uh, whereas we can look to uh, the all the goddess energy as being manifested consciousness, creation itself, and and that creative force behind creation. So I'll let Cindy finish. Mm. So l last night was curious, and, and yeah, I, I do get nervous. I don't like to scare people. I think I think sometimes abilities like these, you know, some people want to shoot the messenger, or they want to get more of an explanation out of someone when simply there is no more explanation to give there's no more information to give so this is what i have and this is why i said listen to higher self so higher self is going to delegate this information to you but when it comes to california i woke up uh there seems to be a curse over california and because of what's happened in the past, Queen Khalifa, she's just not messing around. She she put a curse over it. She's not going to have that behavior. So when the behavior reaches a certain point, there is going to be destruction. As long as these demons are over, you know, their, as long as their energy is overarching, there is going to be a certain level uh, of destruction. And I got these words. I put them together as best as I could. Um, but this, this is how to break the curse. Um, the words are because of actions in times of past, this land will forever be cursed to break this curse over my soul. Show me how time unfolds. And this is what came through for people to tell themselves to, if, if you're, you're, you're feeling like you probably shouldn't be there then that's probably higher self knocking on the door saying look and i mean especially if you have a way to leave you know and if you're on this on the fence whether you should leave or not you know maybe this is that knock 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 on the door saying 
find, you know, another place somewhere else, or maybe you're not going to feel anything. You know, it's entirely up to higher self. <laughs> but this is the information. I feel I got it for a reason. I feel I have the microphone for a reason. And I should share it for those who are, you know, are to hear it. They will hear. Um, but yeah, this was really curious to wake up to. I don't have any further information. I can't give any details. But this information will dissipate itself through whoever it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. And a as we've shared, you know, back in December, early December, um, they had last year uh, shown Cindy a vision of uh, what looked to be volcanoes going off and, and warfare on what looked to be the area where the volcanoes were going off. And it felt like this was uh, somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. Um, going back to, I, I, it was in 2019, um, I had two dreams that were like watching TV, uh, exactly watching TV. And one of them, the first one was of uh, a, a quake up in Cascadia, uh, a great quake, um, much damage to Seattle. And then the second one was lower California and, and, and Los Angeles was like split and, you know, on one side, it was much, much worse than the other side, um, massive devastation. And then I had this uh, vision of airplanes in, in the sky uh, carrying tons of troops. And, and in, in, the, in the dream, I said to Cindy, I can't believe that when we wake up tomorrow, there's going to be all these foreign troops on U.S. soil. And it was just clear as can be. Uh, I do feel that period is within a year. It, it feels strongly that it's within a year, and it, it feels really, uh, I would venture that at this point in time, you know, timelines can change, but I, I feel pretty strong. It, it feels like uh, the big Cascadian and San Andreas, which then Cindy did have, <laughs> Uh, a vision of that those two happening and the new madrid going off concurrently and the guide said again we can change uh, and shift some of this with uh, the awakening and so it, it's all about trying to awaken people again when we i've noticed before in just uh, historical studies that there's an increase in natural disasters during time of warfare and yeah, some of it is technology. Other is is just the emotions, because again, we affect our environment greatly, and we might not realize that. So yeah, the the natural disasters, as they go ahead with the plans for war, they know naturally the natural disasters will increase, and then we could add the technology on top of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I, I don't think there's any one place that's 100% safe at all. I really don't. You know, I see the train barreling down the tracks and you need to do your best effort to step out of the way because that train is coming whether you step out of the way or not. <laughs> if you know it's coming, get yourself, you know, su to sustain on your own as much as possible. Don't don't be involved in needing the system because if you if you take a look, that's what it's all about. It's all about getting people to rely on the system so that if you're not in the system, well, you're going to collapse. So it does put the power in our hands, every individual person to get yourself uh, sustaining on your own and people can do that they've done it you know people band together you know also don't don't discount meditation and mantras to keep yourself safe keep your environment safe keep your block safe keep your city safe I mean if you feel called to do these things to stay wherever you are at and do these things that has purpose in it that has so much purpose and I think this is what we are learning now it's like uh, these this information that's coming to us um, follow it, you know, listen to it. And, 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 but at the same time, you have to kind of drop everything that you thought you knew, which is so hard, but you have to drop that veil so you can hear and see what's right in front of you. So may you all be kept safe and blessed in these times. Definitely prepare as much as you can. 
send out the positive intentions and and try to rise above the fray as much as possible because you know again that is the key uh it's ascension it, it is all about ascension and ascension is rising above source bless and namaste namaste